Hello guys, today I am here to end the topic of the acid base balance in which we have discussed the metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis and metabolic alkalosis. And today we will end the topic with the respiratory alkalosis. A respiratory alkalosis is caused by alveolar hyperventilation. This alveolar hyperventilation result in the excessive carbon dioxide loss. Excessive carbon dioxide loss will result in the decrease of the carbonic acid that is H2CO3. So once the H2CO3 level decreases, there will be a decreased breakdown of this H2CO3 into H plus ions and bicarbonate ions. So decreased H plus concentration will increase the pH that is alkaline pH of the body. So this process will lead the body to the respiratory alkalosis. So moving to the causes of the respiratory alkalosis, what are the different causes of this respiratory alkalosis? Number one here is the hyperventilation during uh, anesthesia or during head uh, injury. Likewise, in the high altitudes, there is the increased hyperventilation that is increased uh, respiration rate. So uh, this is the major cause. The second one, uh, third one here is the hyperpyrexia encephalitis or other liver diseases these are all the causes of the respiratory alkalosis in respiratory alkalosis the partial pressure of the co2 is usually less than 20 mm of hg so moving to the clinical features and management of this respiratory alkalosis a patient comes to you with the following clinical features that is headache uh, tingling chest tightness tetany arrhythmia that is irregular heartbeat uh, low PCO2, uh, PCO2 level that is I have discussed earlier that is below 20 mm of HD. So this uh, low PCO2 and low HCO3 will result in the high pH that is increased alkaline pH of the body. The HCL, uh, HCO3 uh, will not fall below 15 milli aqueous per liter in the serum. So uh, moving to the uh, management of this patient, the oxygen therapy is the basic treatment and the next one is the uh, treating the cause, what is the cause uh, which is uh, causing this problem. So acetazolamide in high altitude is given, this uh, acetazolamide is actually uh, preventing the further breakdown of the carbonic acid. The fourth one here is the respiratory suppression due to alkalosis uh, which is uh, treated usually by co2 that is co2 is given so uh, the increased amount which is lost uh, during the hyperventilation is normalized so this is how the alkalosis patient is treated